Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be looking at a disk which was uh, which is which is let's say uh, has a GPT uh, disk layout. So first thing, let's load the GPT disk layout. Let's say here in Xways. So first, I don't think I even corrupted this one yet, but let's see. So we have this is the GPT disk. And you can see it uh, already has the structures. Yeah, this is not the corrupted one, so we'll corrupt it together. And you can see here it already uh, was able to identify that it has a, an NTFS file system. I have the same file system, by the way, with the same files on the disk. The only difference is this is a GPT disk uh, or a drive with a GPT disk layout. So let's let's get started and uh, let's corrupt this disk just so we can uh, understand the whole idea behind it so got this uh, disk so open and what i'm gonna do is uh, we, c we can see these are all the structures uh, for this gpt disk layout okay and so let me do go to the beginning and i'm gonna do uh, what is it overwrite overwrite with bytes let's do first 512 with oh let's actually just do uh, 1496 and just do A's with all of them so I'm going to write all, I'll write all of them with A's let's see uh, navigate down 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 here yeah there is there should be nothing now uh, okay now since this is a GPT uh, drive with a GPT header then it has a backup at the end so let's uh, go ahead and also uh, corrupt this as well so this way we we corrupt all of it and make sure there is no backup here so let's go uh, yeah let's do from here just do a couple of double checks again make sure there is nothing here this is just a like I said just to explain the whole idea behind this and if we do Uh, where is yep so if we do from this offset so offset uh, and now edit overwrite with bytes start address uh, all the way to the end and let's overwrite it with A's so you can see now it's overwritten with A's right so that's overwritten but we still have this part over here which is the uh also the part of the uh, gpt header or gpt structure th uh, information so we want to let's yes let's just do 1024 and make error selection past the end of the file and 512 yeah it's only 512 bytes yep so let's just do that and let's save this file and let's just call it like edited so edited and dot dd okay so now we have this disk if we go ahead and try to load this one in uh in x ways now assuming that we had such disk which is uh corrupted then we can see this and we can see that if i go to special and then interpret image uh as a disk okay and say okay it still is not able to identify that while over here as you can see this one if i just right click and then run the template i can have all the details about the template about this disk the partitions each partition and the whole structure i can read it uh, this is all about a uh, part of the gpt like a uh, gpt structures and all of that uh, these will all be covered, by the way, in the Cyber 5W Certified Digital Forensic Analyst uh, course and how to fix these, even not just this way. This is just one way of doing things. Uh, so we have a we have a corrupted disk and we, we the system or X-Ways is not able to like uh, parse it. If we come to FTK as well and load the the corrupted one. So if we go to this and load it, we can also see that uh, FTK is not able to do that, not able to load it. So all we need to do now is go to our uh, disk. So if we go all the way, uh, I'm going to go 
and delete everything okay so i'm gonna go wherever this started yep so if i'm go here and i drag all the way till the end just delete that let's call this uh, solution uh so solution okay let's call it that way and if we go to the beginning again and the same thing from here we need to find where ntfs starts so if we this is where we have the ntfs where our file system is starting so if we delete everything before that so if i go uh, i'm I, i'm clicking on shift just so to select everything and now delete this and save now if we go to ftk uh, let's go to, let's go here first then so a file open uh, bring the solution open it as you can see we can now see that we have a volume even if you by the way go load the template manager and say this is an ntfs where is it uh, where is the ntfs yep ntfs boot sector if we do that that's fine it will pass it and it will understand that this is an ntfs uh, volume also if we go to specialist and interpret image file as disk we can see now that the we are able to load the uh, the file system and now we can start navigating the content uh we so we are able to do that uh, if we also go to ftk imager and load this image so if we go here and then go to the solution one open and finish we should also be able to see that we have an ntfs file system and now we are able to analyze uh, this file system so these are just ways of showing you that sometimes there are it's really just understanding how structures work and uh, how you can clean the data the raw data that you have and like extract the like the volume out of that raw data especially if the the gaps between like i said in the previous video the gaps between the start of the drive and let's say where the volume starts is empty and there is nothing really interesting in there then we can just delete them and and deal with this as a volume uh, and then start our analysis there this way we can parse it mount it parse it do whatever uh, we want like i said all of this plus many others uh, like uh, different ways of fixing uh, disk layouts, partitions uh, will be covered in the Cyber5W Certified Digital Forensic uh, Certificate. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback, please don't hesitate to share it with me. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.